Now, there are principles for thinking about a successful 21st century America. The first one, and, and this is one I have not really been as successful at getting across as I'd like to be, so I'm very open for ideas later on. Uh, I think there will be four to seven times more scientific growth and technological change in the next 25 years. I think two-thirds of it will come outside the United States. To give you a sense of scale, if you're, if you're looking out 25 years uh, and you're asking for, say, 2035, um, if we have four times as much scientific and technological change, it would be as though a planning group in 1880 was trying to understand this meeting. Now, 1880 is pre-automobile, pre-truck, pre-airplane, pre-long-distance telephone, pre-electric light, pre-radio, uh, pre-television, pre-computer. I mean, how would you explain this meeting? How would you explain C-SPAN or the other television that's here? That's if it's four times. If it's seven times as much, you're back with Sir Isaac Newton in 1660 trying to figure out calculus. Nobody that I've talked with, and I, I've talked, I met with the, the Air Force chief scientist, for example, and talked about this. I've met in a variety of settings. No one that I know of has even begun to think about how would you design a system that maximized our ability to use the new science and the new technology and that maximized our ability to take advantage of it to create jobs and create national security and create better health outcomes faster than anybody else in the world. That would be a fundamentally different way of designing where we're going. And every government, every state government, every city and county government, every school board, and the, and the U.S. government should be trying to, should have a, a working group of scientists and technologists thinking in fundamental ways about how we, how we really become a continuously evolving, continuously adapting system, because that scale of change requires constant improvement. You'll never know enough to make big jumps. So you've got to just constantly rethink it.